And finally tonight, the Barbie movie is having a historic opening weekend at the box office. Our Kaylin Hughes has more on the connection the doll has here in the islands. Barbie made her Hawaii debut in the 1963 book, Barbie's Hawaiian Holiday. And while over the years there have been many different versions of Hawaii-themed Barbies, it was a group of local collectors in the late 90s that created a truly authentic Hawaii Barbie, made with aloha. The, Barbie, long Hawaiian the late Florence de los Santos Martin, a prolific Barbie collector, created her own Hawaii Loves Barbie Museum in Kailua in 1986. Many of the dolls in custom outfits were out of their box and open for visitors to admire up close. The National Enquirer even recognized her as having the largest Barbie collection in the U.S., with 924 dolls. By the mid-90s, Martin took her passion a step further, founding the Hawaii Loves Barbie Club and a Hawaii Barbie convention. We would um, set up meetings and we would bring our newest finds and um, we would eat, chit-chat about, you know, the latest Barbie that each collected or found. Uh huh. And it was actually more planning for the convention. With the help of fellow collectors like Debbie Baptist Puckert, the group was able to create an exclusive Barbie for the event using real dolls from Mattel. So we decided to do two types of dolls. One was a limited edition, and I think we made about 50 of them. The Barbie was adorned with pareo, a real koa ipu, and miniature feather uli ulis. I think it took us maybe three weeks. We would get together um, at Hilo Hattie, sometimes in my office, and we would like have an assembly line. Finally, in 1997, the convention became a reality with over 100 people attending, which included a visit to Florence's famed Barbie Museum. She loved Barbie. And that's what I remember about her. You know, just that was the Barbie Museum. I don't know if there's another one like it, though. Puckard's career in fashion design endures to this day as she continues to create sarong and pareo for her family's clothing brand, Tanoa. And even though the days of creating dolls are in the past, Puckard is excited for Barbie's big screen debut, although the screening will be a little bittersweet. She would love it. She would love it. To learn even more about Barbie's connection to Hawaii, head to our website. Kaylin Hughes, Hawaii News Now.